third time I find the king here in disguise. His infatuation with this gypsy girl will suit my purpose well. A quadruple of gold! Oh. A just reward, Manifana. He must be a very rich man. He is indeed one of the richest men in all Spain. But tell me, is it true that yesterday the queen stopped her carriage to listen while you sang? Yes, senor, it is true enough. And what did you sing for her? An old song said to be popular with the Moorish kings of long ago. It greatly pleased the queen. Sing it for us now. Yes. And you shall have the companion to that gold piece you are holding. Willingly, senor. <laughs>
I've done well today. Indeed, senor. But what I have earned remains either too little or too much. What do you mean? Too much reward for my poor songs and too little to achieve my dreams of wealth. So, <laughs> you have dreams of wealth, Mariton. Ah, senor. Since I met the queen yesterday, I have thought of nothing else. How beautiful she looked. How magnificent her clothes, her jewels. How splendid her coat. Oh, how I wish such riches could be mine. A fairy wand had I the power, some palace bright my home should be. By marble fountain orange bower, dancing to music's melody. <laughs> Those sparkling eyes, those ruby lips, might win a bright a home for thee, that crystal hall, where fairy trips, lightly to echoes, to echoes minstrelsy. Oh! 
persuaded of the king's infidelity with this gypsy girl may well look favorably on me and thus I come a step nearer to the throne itself yes Maritana I will assist your dreams and speedily miserable thieving names what have we here miserable thieving names cheated cars like privileged nobles robbed <laughs> robbed of my last quadruple I shall dine on March here tonight surely that must be Don Cesar Don Cesar de Bazaar, eh? Don Jose de Santaran. The same. Ha. Don Cesar, you have been absent from Spain for some years. Where have you been? Why, on my travels. Ha. They say travel changes a man. And his appearance, eh? <laughs> Yet your father left you a great name, a fine fortune. Oh, the name I still bear, but the fortune <laughs> benefits mankind. Ha. And your numerous followers? Have become creditors. They follow me still, but so far have never caught up with me. <laughs> And what happy event has restored you to your native city? Uh, the delusion that all my creditors may have dropped dead. <laughs> but tell me, what is the news here? Is Madrid still the same? Are the uh, girls still as beautiful? Are there as many duels fought over them, eh? All is much the same, Don Cesar. The girls are just as beautiful as you can see. But no duels are fought over them. What, no duels? No. Dueling, for no matter what reason, is now forbidden in Madrid. Dueling forbidden? By edict of the king. Whoever is caught will be shot, except during Holy Week when they will be hanged. <laughs> and may I remind you, my friend, in case you had forgotten, that Holy Week commenced today. So it did. Then I must take great care to keep out of any trouble. Hanged indeed. <laughs> Why, I should never survive the disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? No, no, listen to me, Let Polish me boy! Die at your age, boy! You can't have any creditors? What is all this all about? Oh, he tried to drown himself, senor! I never will again rather than return to such a master. What master? And who are you, boy? My name is Lazarillo, senor. I am apprenticed to an armorer who says my work is bad and beats me daily until I can't stand. Today I hit him back and he called the officer. <laughs> I'd run away, senor. I'd rather die than return oh, to such a master. Boy, you can be jailed for this. Fear oh. <laughs> not stand there. See the culprit. Mercy, mercy. We arrest him. Mercy, mercy. See the culprit. We arrest him. Seize the culprit. We arrest him. Seize the culprit. We arrest him. Seize the culprit. We arrest him. Why my own is disobey? Why my own is disobey? Why my own is disobey? Why my own is Come here, you quickly see me. Come here, you quickly see me. Come here, you quickly see me. 
tell me, boy, what time is it now? It has just struck five, senor. Two more hours left to live. How shall I pass the time? Is there no one, senor, who would appeal to the king to save your life? No one, boy. No one cares whether I'm hanged or shot. <laughs> and yet... Yes, senor? <laughs>
Don Jose. Don Cesar, as First Minister of the Crown, I wish to exert my influence on your behalf. I cannot save your life, but if you have some last request... I have, so that my death shan't be in vain. See that this boy Lazzarillo is protected from the armor. Take him into your service. Very well. Since it is your wish, it shall be done. Boy, you shall serve me. As a fellow comrade in arms, Don Cesar, I have petitioned the king on your behalf, and he has agreed, because of your great service to your country in the past, that you are entitled to die like a soldier, instead of being hanged like a common criminal. Thank you, Don Jose. Most nobly done. <laughs> Thank you. 